So Tyler's gonna just kind of shoot it on me, and it's not the greatest shot, okay? He just smacked my hands out of the way or whatever. He shoots, but I managed to get a sprawl off, right? This is the situation that we're gonna end up in. And you know, I want him to carry as much of my weight during the sprawl as possible. But what I'm gonna look to do is kind of a front headlock type situation. Usually that means that I'm gonna have a head and an arm in play here. There's a bunch of different grips that you can use. I'm gonna start with kind of shooting for the far arm like so. So I've kind of gripped his, let's say, tricep over here, right? And I'm gonna use my elbow to hold his arm in place while I climb my arm up a bit higher here. And so I'm starting to enter into a choke that's not there yet. What I've gotta do is if you can visualize kind of my bicep is here along the side of Tyler's neck like this, right? And what I need to do is I need to create a little bit of an angle so that it's a bit more in the front, right? One way that I can do that is if I go here and I chop his arm out of the way. So I shoot my leg here, chop his arm out of the way with my own elbow, and then I throw my head all the way to the other side like this. Really recommend clearing your head all the way to the other side in this situation. Once you get here, you can start to walk toward your partner and just simply look to squeeze as you go. I think the thing that you want to really feel here is that your head is doing almost all the work pushing their head down into, or your chest rather, sorry I said head, pushing their head down into the choke, right? So it's not just like a squeeze this way like a rear naked might be, it's, there's definitely a bending component, a forward bending component, right? So again, we're here, we shoot in, I just get a sprawl, just enough to get a sprawl off. Cupping the tricep on the far side, elbowing it down, and holding it in place, and then getting it out of the way. Like this out of the way, I pull the arm across and it's way underneath Tyler. And all of a sudden the choke is starting to be effective. I can feel it and I start to walk this way, keeping latched on. And every time I walk, it kind of tightens up. Okay? But so basically, this is called the Anaconda Choke, just a silly name or whatever, but it's really, really stuck for a long time now. Okay? So let's practice this out.